Good morning, my friends. I am not unaware of the irony of this situation. I'm on a walk in Hollywood. Today is Sunday, August 20th. Hurricane Hillary is off of the coast, coming up the coast of Mexico and California. Don't know where it's gonna land exactly yet. Today, the Saints, the Saints, are playing the Rams in Los Angeles. Saints are from New Orleans. There's hurricanes in New Orleans all the time, thereabouts. I do not, not see the irony in this as I am in Los Angeles with a hurricane coming off of the coast. I was born in New Orleans, if you don't know. So, it's just all kind of funny. So what I'm doing right now, we're gonna go to Hollywood on this morning. It's in the rain, it's about 8.30, so hurricane's off the coast, and uh, we're gonna go see if there's anyone on Hollywood Boulevard, because why not? So let's get right into it. First, let's touch on something. So why haven't I put a video up in like a week and a half? Well, I'll tell you. So my wife and I are very allergic to gluten. And uh, about a week and a half ago, we had some. And uh, accidentally, never on purpose, uh, got some meat from, from Ralph's grocery store. And uh, it, it looked delicious. Didn't read the package to find out that it had like, you know, seasonings that were the, of the gluten variety in it. And so we eat it. I start feeling something in my face, which is where I feel it. It's like right here. I'll get like a little tingle or something. So it's like, uh oh, so I go and I look at the package and it's like, there's gluten in this, you know? So of course I start freaking out. Like, you know, what am I going to do? Okay. I got to find the antidote. So I look up and there's this stuff called glutenese that I like race to sprouts down the street to, uh, you know, to kind of fend off all the things that happened uh, to me and my wife Tracy because of gluten. And, um, whew. So normally, if I had not had that stuff, glutenese, I'd be down for like a month. Like brain fog, super tired, can't do anything, can't think. It's awful. So, but about a week and a half and I'm feeling pretty okay, you know, which is, which is great. So that's why I haven't been on put, putting any videos on and whatnot. So if you have noticed, that is why we are better now. Thank you for asking. So where are we Kyle? Well, we are right outside of Henson Studios on La Brea Boulevard and Henson Studios, that is, that is in fact, oh look at that, right on the camera lens. That is in fact right in front of us, Kermit the Frog tipping his hat at the world and Hollywood, wishing you all a good day, about to sing a good song about rainbows and all of that kind of fabulousness. So I love being able to walk, to walk by the Henson Studios on my way on this walk. It's just a good, recollection and memory of what built this city and this is at the Henson Studios this is the historic Charlie Chaplin studio this is Charlie saying hello wishing you all a fantastic day this is a cultural heritage commission piece historical cultural monument number 58 built in 1917 Declared in 1969. This place has been here for a good long time. Charlie Chaplin. This was his, this was his place. These were his digs. 
good stuff. No trucks beyond this point. Right now we are at Sunset and La Brea. That right across the street is the Starbucks that I would normally go in and get my Starbucks. And uh, right now I've already got my coffee that I made from home and it's free, which is much better than not free. So weather update on this walk. It is, uh, it's drizzling. You can see the sky, you can see the clouds, you know, you got your kind of band clouds. A little more gray in that direction, which is where it's coming from. So way gray that way. And a little less gray and patchy clouds this way. I could be a weatherman. Oh yeah, I could be a weatherman. Where are we, Kyle? All right, we're right by the Quality Inn on La Brea. That is sunset down that way. And look at these giant pine trees on this street. It's like these trees are not anywhere else in this neighborhood, just this street. But I mean, look at them, they're huge. So whoever the developer was that, uh, you know, planted these giant forest dwelling magical trees, hats off, well done, well done. I don't know if you can see that on top of my coffee cup, that right there. That is rainwater. So in case I get thirsty, I have some water to drink. That's nice. So let's talk about Preacher 6, because I did say that I was going to be launching a campaign to finish the film, and it was supposed to launch last Saturday. So if we can recall all the way to the beginning of this video, and you would see why that didn't happen. Why? To review. <laughs> Gluten. That's the reason. So, yeah. So we're going to get up and gear that up and get that going and probably launch that next Saturday. Because that's how things go. You ever watch that YouTube channel, Post 10? It's, this guy like goes out with a rake, clears drains, clears culverts and that kind of thing. Now, if Post 10 was here, he would take his rake and he would get rid of that and then it would flow into the drain more easily than it is right now. See how it's going around there and it's a deep puddle? He would move that stuff and it would not be a puddle anymore and it would just go into the drain. So yeah, <laughs> let me know if you know who I'm talking about because I think that's funny. As we wait for Thor to come do his thing with the hurricane, we are now upon Hollywood Boulevard. Let's go take a walk. All right, so we are at Hollywood and La Brea. We have the Hollywood Muses there, welcoming us onto the Walk of Fame. Let us see what we shall see. All right, so where are we, Kyle? We're at 7080 Hollywood Boulevard at Tiago's. Tiago, there's no S on it. Don't say Tiago's, there's no S. And we're coming up onto the rest of the boulevard. Treat people with kindness. Treat people with kindness. We could all take a lesson. Am I right? We're coming up on the Live Nation building. We're actually walking right by it right now. And I like to do something every once in a while on these Hollywood Boulevard walks, and that's to look down at a star randomly without having known who we're gonna look at. So let's do that right now. All right, Antonio Aguilar. Fantastic. That is a record. So that means that Antonio Aguilar is a magician. No, musician. That's a different word. But yes, he plays music, does not do magic tricks. Very cool. If you know who that is, Antonio Aguilar, please leave your comment in the comments. And let's see who's right above Antonio. Alabama. Also not a magician. They are musicians. Cool. All right, oh, this is like, this is like, let's go check this out, okay. So this got the four tops. So this must be music area. Mana, 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 all right. Oh, look at that. Who's this, who's this? Yeah, we know who that is. That's Stevie Wonder, people, you know, one of my favorites. All right, cool, let's keep walking. And you may ask yourself, Kyle, why don't you have an umbrella? It's raining. It's just what I do. 
All right, so where are we, Kyle? We're at Sycamore in Hollywood. We're gonna cross the street here, and we're gonna go. We got your CVS, you got your Target, and then we have Chinese Man's Theater down here. So let's go see what that looks like in the rain, shall we? Oh yes, we shall we. The aforementioned Target with the Target sign. We have the Target spot dog right here greeting us greeting us all if you if you wanted to know how often spot gets a bath now you know about every hurricane or so spot will get a bath so good spot all right so we are at orange and hollywood this is madame tussaud's wax museum so this would be a wax person these people are not wax people they are Impress with the wax person pretty cool All right, so this is the man's Chinese theater They have it gated off But as it reveals Oppenheimer is still playing here. Look at that. That is just awesome One of these days there's not gonna be a fence here And I'm gonna be able to go in here and walk around and we're gonna be able to check all this out so one day we will but hey there's eddie murphy that's pretty cool be free people damn right so this is what hollywood boulevard looks like on the morning of a hurricane pretty empty i think that uh people are maybe choosing not to be here but in it then again it is early so nothing is open yet but that's the El Capitan Theater across the street, which is the Disney Theater. And uh, the, uh, see uh, Beauty and the Beast playing August something close to now. This is the Hard Rock Cafe. It's missing a couple of letters there. Someone's got to get on that. What we're coming up onto right now, this is where they had the Academy Awards. So all of this, it'll be covered in tents. And this is where they have the red carpet, which then goes down here and up those stairs that I'm blocking my way with the coffee. But yeah, so those stairs back there are the Academy Awards stairs, which I have walked on on this channel before. So you can check, check my videos for the Academy Awards stairs and we'll go check those out. But uh, right now, we're just, we're just walking in the rain. I hope you can forgive me today if the, uh, the lens gets a little spotty with rain. I've been doing my best to, uh, you know, to prevent that from happening, but it's raining and I'm doing my best. All right, so this is Highland and Hollywood across the way there is Ripley's Believe It or Not. We have more Hollywood Max wax museums. So that's two wax museums and about a two block place. Stella Adler Theater, it's right there. Pretty cool. And uh, all right. Oh, can't cross the street. That's right, you gotta wait. You gotta wait for the sign. Okay, fine. Okay, that's a go. So when this is a go, it's only pedestrians. No cars can go, so that's pretty cool. If you want to help independent film and us get Creature 6 finished, you can join my Patreon. Kyle Hester, actor guy, and uh, $3. $3. That's it. That is all. To see the behind the scenes, the what is happening, the old stuff, the new stuff. So please join. And I appreciate it. And you can help us with Creature 6 and films into the future because, oh yes, there will be films into the future. Thank you. Thank you very much. So right now I'm across from the high school for performing arts, Hollywood High. It's John Ritter. Love that guy. He was awesome. RIP, my friend. So the funny thing is, when you have like a GoPro, they're digital, right? So they have touch screen. And then when you're walking in the rain, the rain thinks that it's its own little fingerprint. So then it will like do things to settings start the thing you know change i don't know isos <laughs> you just never know what's gonna happen this is the hollywood high football field pretty cool 
That'd be fun to be out there running around in the rain right now. But I guess I'm having my own fun running around on the streets of Hollywood by myself with a GoPro. I mean, that's almost as fun, right? That's almost as fun. By the way, click like on this video. Subscribe to the channel. So I actually have a purpose to this walk besides like we're just walking around in the rain, you know, on hurricane morning. So I'm going to the store to get supplies. I did not think that I was gonna be like as wet as I am right now. So I'm, uh, I'm gonna step on it and get to the store. You know how sometimes things just catch your attention? Well, that just caught my attention, so I figured I would share it with you. I just saw a seagull. We must be close to land. So during the day, I'm gonna do like little updates, you know, of the storm and what it looks like, you know. So stay tuned, because I don't know what it's gonna look like, but it's gonna look like something. So hang out. Right now it's it's raining less than it was before. I'm on the way to the store, by the way. I haven't gotten there yet. Um, it's raining less than it was before because what happens is there's like bands, you know, in a hurricane or a tropical storm or whatever. So it comes in bands of like harder rain, lighter rain. Sometimes it stops raining and then it's like it's really, really raining. So that's what happens if you are not familiar with or have not been through a tropical storm or a hurricane. So, and right now, it's like barely drizzling. I am soaking wet because it was not barely drizzling, you know, only moments ago. So, but yeah, so I'll keep you posted. I will keep you posted. Okay, so what we're gonna do, this is gonna be the baseline for the rain today from the hurricane. So we're gonna see exactly what happens. It is 1038 in the morning, and this is your basic, uh, you know, it's sprinkling right now, so nothing really to see. So we will see you later in the day, 1038 in the morning on Hurricane Los Angeles day. All right, it is 1058 right now. It's, it, it, it's the, it is sprinkling a little bit more. You can see the uh, the puddle over here. It's just a regular puddle. We're gonna call it a regular puddle. A uh, little, little sprinkling. So it's uh, 20 minutes later, and that's uh, that's that's where we are at this point. Hey, my friends! Thank you so much for joining me on this epic adventure in the rain in Hollywood on this very day of the Hurricane Hillary. Please click like on this video, subscribe to the channel, and join the Patreon because. Uh, Independent film needs you and needs your help and needs your support. So I will keep you posted. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you on the next video.